What's up waivers? Welcome to PhD and Waves. In today's video, I'm gonna go over the difference between a moisturizer and a hair butter. I feel like there's a lot of confusion between these two types of products. So I'm gonna break it down for you in today's video. All right, y'all, so right here, I have two different products. I have a moisturizer and I have a hair butter. This is 100% shea butter and this is moisture whip twisting cream which is considered a moisturizer and i'm gonna go over why this is a moisturizer and why this is just a butter all right so let's break it down so what exactly is a moisturizer moisturizer is basically a product that moisturizes your hair so there are so many different products that fall under the term moisturizer so right here i have a avocado hydrating leave-in cream and this is a moisture whip twisting cream but these are both considered moisturizers because they contain water that's the main ingredient that you want to look out for when you're looking for products to moisturize your hair you want to look at the ingredient list and you want to make sure that the product has water so both of these products the ingredients uh they both contain water which I consider a moisturizer. Anything that has water is technically considered a moisturizer. But I do see people, they refer to like butters as moisturizers. Like they say they're gonna moisturize their hair with a hair butter. But I don't really think those are moisturizers because they don't contain water. All right, so if you look at the ingredients on both of these products, the first ingredient, it says agua. And then the first ingredient on this one is also agua. So these products both contain water. So they're both considered moisturizers. Now let's move on to hair butters. Like I said, right here, I have 100% shea butter. And then I have a couple other butters right here in these bags. All right, so here I have shea butter. So basically shea butter or other different kinds of butters, they're the extractions up from trees, nuts, and other plants like a shade tree or a cocoon tree. Uh, they're basically the extraction from the nut. It's the fat extracted from the nut. And that's how you get different um, butters. So right here, it says cocoon butter is a firm cosmetic butter expelled pressed from the indica plant. And then shea butter, it says African shea butter is made from the nut of the African shea tree. The certified organic shea butter, 100% pure unrefined raw virgin ivory shea butter. So the reason this isn't really a moisturizer is because there's no water. It simply just, you know, lubricates and it adds shine to your hair and it also locks in moisture. So I think that's where a lot of people get confused. They think that these products are moisturizing their hair, but what they're really doing is they're softening your hair, they're lubricating your hair, they're adding shine. So it might seem like they are moisturizing your hair, but they're only doing those uh, specific things. But a moisturizer is directly adding moisture into your hair. That's basically the main difference between a moisturizer and a hair butter. So basically moisturizers are emulsions. They mix a bunch of different ingredients together to create a moisturizer. So for example, right here, this is olive oil, aloe and shea butter mixed in with water. So it's basically a bunch of different ingredients mixed together when typically a, a butter is just, you know, the butter by itself. It can be mixed in with different butters and different oils, but there isn't exactly uh, water added into a hair butter. So it isn't really technically a moisturizer. So when it comes to moisturizers like these, the moisturizer typically you would mix a bunch of different oils, butters, water some some moisturizers have honey avocado and since these products have water in them they have to include a preservative so any product that contains water you need a preservative so it doesn't grow bacteria but when it comes to like hair butters like these that you use for your hair and you could even use on your skin they don't contain any preservatives because there's no water. So, all right, so now that you know the difference between a moisturizer and a hair butter, how does this all play into how do you moisturize your hair? So that's the main thing you wanna understand when it comes to these products. So when it comes to moisturizers, things that include water, it could be called a leave-in conditioner, it could be called a moisturizer directly. There's so many different names for moisturizers and they're basically just different marketing words. But what you wanna do is you wanna add in a moisturizer into your hair first, then you wanna add in a, a shea butter or any butter to lock in that moisture. And I'm gonna go through that with you guys right now. Also, I wanna show you guys the consistency of these products. A moisturizer is always gonna be super soft. 
as you can see, just super soft. Um, and it's going to be easily absorbed into the hair. Since there's so much water in this product, it won't take much for it to absorb into my hair compared to a hair butter. So right here, we have 100% uh, shea butter. This is definitely on the harder side. Like this is not as soft as uh, the moisturizer, which contains water. But since this is just the fat extract from a nut, it's a very, it's a thicker consistency and it's not gonna instantly absorb into my hair like the moisturizer did. Clearly see it sitting on top of my hair and it's not gonna instantly uh, absorb into my hair because it's a solid butter. So basically what I have to do with this product is I have to melt it between my hands and then layer it on top of my hair. And then you could still see a little bit of buildup on top of my hair. Also wanna show you guys like this cocoon butter. Like they're essentially just blocks of thick, super, super thick substance. It's a solid. So this isn't really, it's not gonna moisturize your hair. Like I keep saying, it's just gonna, it's gonna seal in the moisture. Um, and it's also gonna add shine, softness to your hair. And there's so many other different benefits to a hair butter. So I think a lot of people get confused when they're using hair butters and hair moisturizers because they do a lot of the same things. Both a hair butter and a hair moisturizer, they're gonna help soften your hair. They're gonna make your hair more elastic. They're also gonna make your hair shinier, but they're not exactly the same thing. So water is basically gonna absorb into your hair strand. And then a hair butter, it can absorb into your hair, but it's just gonna do different things. It's gonna help lubricate your hair, add shine, and it's also gonna soften your hair. But a product like a moisturizer is gonna directly hydrate your hair and add moisture and that's the main difference between a hair butter and a hair moisturizer so basically what you want to do is you want to you want to use a hair moisturizer first to get that moisture into your hair after that you want to use a hair butter uh to seal in that moisture and it's basically gonna lay on top of your hair to lock in that moisture one thing that i noticed about a moisturizer is as you can see if you look at the edge of this product right you can see it drying up on the edge. That's because a moisturizer contains water, so it will eventually dry up. So what you wanna do is you wanna add a butter to seal in that moisture because a hair, this is never gonna dry out. I can leave the top off this and it's never, it's gonna take a long time for it to dry out. But since this product contains water, eventually it's gonna dry out. This kind of melts down to an oil. So if you ever have like an oil stain, it takes a long time for it to dry out. And let me show you, basically a solid form of a butter. So once I rub it between my hands, it turns into an oil. So that's pretty much just gonna seal in that moisture. It's gonna add shine and it's gonna make it less likely for your hair to dry out because you're sealing in that water so it doesn't escape your hair shaft. People can get away by just using a butter to moisturize their hair, especially if you have shorter hair, because like I said, it does add shine, it does add um, softness, it does add lubrication, and it does strengthen your hair. Um, also, let's say you wash your hair in the shower, and then after your hair dries, you add a hair butter, you still have some water and some hydration left over in your hair from the shower. So the butter will just simply lock in that moisture. So that's why some people can get away with using a butter to moisturize their hair uh, because it does seal in moisture. So your hair will be moisturized and hydrated for a couple of days. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Those are the differences between a uh, butter and a moisturizer. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.